Welcome back. In this video, we will be exploring some more deeper features of the Moodle mobile app. The first one we are going to explore is quizzes. Your teacher can set up various different quizzes for you to take as they wish. These tests are generally divided over the entire course content. So let's see how to take a quiz. Go to your courses menu and then tap on contents. Another menu will pop up and show you the list of the sections or months depending on your course. Click on the section or month that you desire and at the bottom it will show you a test. In my case it is self-test 1. Tap on it. Now the test will load and it will show a few instructions and then you can start giving the test. Once you're done with the test and want to see the grades for the test you can go back to the main course menu and click on grades under the course name. Here it will show you the grades for your entire course. At the moment I haven't given any tests so it is not showing any grade but once you do give a test the result will show up here. Now Moodle allows you to reach out to other participants who are participating in your course. You can do this by tapping on the participants tab under the course name. This will open up a list of all the people taking your course. If you know anyone, you can click on their name which will open up their profile. Here you can see information about them as well as add them as a contact. Moodle allows you to send them messages. Simply tap on add contact if you like to add them as a contact. Or tap on send a message to send them a message. You can see all your messages by going back to the My Course page and tapping your finger on the menu icon in the top left corner. Then tap on Messages. This will open up a list of all the messages that you have received or sent. And you can also tap on Contacts to see a list of all the people you have added in your contacts. This feature allows you to stay in touch with your classmates and also helps teachers to hold interactive chat activities with a group of students at one time. If you go back to the menu, you can see notifications in the list. Tap on it. In this area, you will find any notifications such as changes in course content, new activities, tests, etc. This is particularly helpful in staying updated with all the changes happening in your courses. Now go back to the menu by tapping your finger on the menu icon in the top left corner of the screen. Next, tap your finger on calendar events. If your course admin has some events lined up for the course such as a group discussion or a deadline which lands on a particular date, it will show up in this section. This is a great way of keeping track of all your deadlines and events provided to you in the course. That is all for today. Thank you for listening and hope it helped.